for Christmas. Just like you said, that groundhog better not see his shadow. That's all we know. Listen, I have a question. Can they sue? So we have Mark Cantor here from Cantor Injury Law, and he's going to look at some of our crazy videos. You know those videos we run at the start of the show? He's going to look at those and tell us whether or not someone can sue. So let's go ahead, take a look at the first one. Jacksonville City, uh, the, the Jacksonville City Hall, they imploded it uh, very recently, and they took a lot of great pains to make sure everyone stays safe, but one thing they didn't bank on was all the broken glass all throughout the area. Can those business leaders of course, and you know, really it's an insurance claim, right? Because the, the imploded building, they have strict liability, which is above negligence. It's, it's something so dangerous that we say you're responsible. So the building that uh, had the broken windows, their insurance is gonna pay. And then they're, they're gonna be what's called subrogated. So they're gonna go after the, the folks that, that did the implosion. And they should, in Missouri, you know, to bring it down to the base level, mm -hmm. we, we know that if a dog bites someone, right. the owner's responsible. That's strict liability. It's the same thing with these explosive devices. All right, so yes, they can sue in that crazy video. The next one, let's take it out to Germany. Now, this is a 91-year-old tradition. It's a sledge race. At the bottom of this course, there is a bump that is meant to make the riders wipe out. If that were to happen here in Missouri, could those riders sue if they were hurt? Well, you know, I love tradition. Yeah. Uh, and fun things are great. It looks great. It looks, it, like it so looks great. <laughs> but the case is bad and it goes downhill from there. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they, can, nice. they can sue, but it's a loser. I'm not interested yeah. in that case. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier, and you uh, had mentioned the possibility, especially after 91 years, that hopefully the race organizers would know to uh, issue waivers, right? Yeah, to, or get, a re a to get a release. But, yeah. you know, dangerous things are dangerous, right? Yeah. They're fun, but they're dangerous. I can see my family, my kids right, right. loving that, yeah. but they might get hurt, and that's the deal. It's assumption of the risk. Mm -hmm. you, you you may get hurt. I mean, look, they're yeah. they're going downhill with no brakes, no brakes, purposely <laughs> hitting a hill, and if they get hurt, you know, that's that's a no go with with my law. Firm. Yeah, we would not take that case. Oh well, all right. So they can sue, or they cannot sue. They cannot sue on that one. Um, but we do have uh, an issue with really, really, really large food portions. There is a burger place in Nevada that serves a 13 pound burger. It's got two giant Angus beef, beef patties, pork belly, flaming hot Cheetos, much, much more on there. If someone to, were to uh, gain weight after eating something like this, can they sue? Well, I think that would be ridiculous. You know, <laughs> the, the thing is you can sue. It can or injury law. We want nothing to do with that type of burger law. Right. That's silly, mm -hmm. but uh, they can sue. They won't win. Okay. Uh, but you know, our system is designed that if you're legitimately harmed, mm -hmm. that you can bring a lawsuit. I think that's a frivolous claim and, yeah. and want nothing to do with that. We only have a couple seconds. Tell us what can you do or like what kind of cases you do take well, for clients. Can or injury law, we handle negligence mm -hmm. cases. So if someone harms you, uh, that's what we do. That's okay. all I've done for 25 years. Our website is canorinjurylaw.com. It's 314-628-9999. Right. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you very much. No, no problem. So everybody, only if the burger was bad can you sue here on the 9 a.m. show. We'll be right back.